Hello again. In my paper the other day, I came across this article which is headed Child Sex Abuse Cases by Women Have Doubled. The suggestion is made that over the course of the last four years, such cases have doubled. If true, this would be extremely alarming. But of course it isn't true. Fully to understand what has been happening, we need to think a little about transsexualism, the phenomenon of biological males deciding that they are really in some sense women, and vice versa, women deciding that they are in some sense males. This is of course a very delicate subject, and so before going any further I ought to make something perfectly clear. I honestly do not care what identity anybody wishes to adopt. If those who are biologically male wish to wear women's clothes, it's none of my business and I'm happy for them to do so. If they wish to have themselves surgically castrated, again, it's no affair of mine. If somebody who was once called Jim wants to be known as Mary, that's okay by me too. I will cheerfully use the preferred name, Pronoun, I have no animosity towards transsexuals in the slightest. Why would I? In order to avoid what left-wing intellectuals call misgendering, I shall not be talking of men and women. It's going to be rather cumbersome and sound awkward, but to avoid potential trouble, for example, having this uh, video removed, I shall instead talk about those born with penises or those born without penises. Let's start with something that we all know very well to be true, that the majority of crime is committed by those born with penises. Some crimes, burglary for instance, are never committed by people who were born without penises. It's a gendered crime. Other crimes, such as sexual offences, are almost exclusively committed by people who were born with penises. 98% of such crimes are by people who were born with penises. Rape, of course, cannot by definition be committed by somebody without a penis. And yet, such is the strange state of the world we now live in, 10 days ago, a woman was supposedly sent to prison for 15 years for this offence. You are puzzled. How can this be, you ask yourselves? Well, I provide a link in the description to this video to a newspaper report of this case, which involves somebody called Michelle Winter. This brings us neatly to the subject of this video, because Michelle Winter's crime will end up being included in the statistics for crimes committed by women. It will contribute to the apparent huge increase of sexual crimes carried out by women. On the figures, this will appear as a case of rape committed by a woman. What is distorting those figures, the figures for sexual offences, among other things, and causing an apparent explosion of such offences committed by women, it's the indisputable fact that some of the people in that category of those statistics are people who were born with penises. Once again, I must pause and remind viewers that this sort of thing does not tell us anything at all about transsexuals in general. It tells us rather that people born with penises are more prone to committing certain crimes than those who are born without penises. This is the nature of the problem. People with penises committing awful crimes, like rape, which then find their way onto the statistics of people who most people assume to have been born without penises. You see the problem here when women's crime figures start to include things like rape. Unfortunately, people born with penises have a tendency to commit sexual offences, even if they call themselves Michelle or Mary. I also include a link in the description to this video to a BBC News item. The fact is that half of the transgender people currently in British prisons, people born with penises, have at least one conviction for sexual offences. Because they are mostly held in women's prisons, 
these sexual offences are now counted as being committed by women and not men. This is a big driver of the claimed doubling of sexual offences by women. It is, of course, not only sexual offences which are, according to the figures at least, being committed more frequently by women over the last few years. The murder rate looks at first glance as though it is also rising. In 2019, 20 convicted murderers in prison in Britain who were born with penises told the prison authorities that they were women and wished to move to women's prisons. When that happens, their crimes are then tacked onto the statistics for female murderers. Let me say again, this is not to suggest that transsexuals are more likely to commit any sort of crime than anybody else. Yeah? I mean, let's face it, it's about people born with penises who are more likely to kill people, burgle houses and so on, than those born without penises. As I say, I'm quite happy to mix with transsexuals and have them as friends and colleagues. What people wear, or whether they have their ears pierced or bits of their body removed, are absolutely none of my business. Seeing the crime statistics for women being inflated like this every year, that's another matter entirely.